Here's a very interesting phenomenon. We've got a Canon 5D Mark III. And uh, what we've done, we've bought a SanDisk um, card from eBay, which is a very good make, but uh, this one's particularly suspect because we press record and the video runs for maybe nine seconds and we get a little box coming up here. There it goes. Uh, starts to get bigger and then it stops. Its uh, movie recording has been stopped automatically. So that's what you get when you have a Duff SD card. So maybe I have to send this one back. So there's the little beast. This is uh, an Ultra SanDisk and it's uh, 32 megabytes a second and it's a 16 gigabyte drive. So we put that in the computer here and it pops up eventually. There we go. And uh, this is the strange thing that happens. Uh, the file size starts off file size with 47 seconds, then it goes to 40 seconds, 34 seconds, 11 seconds, 11 seconds, 11 seconds, and then down, and then it gets worse and worse. It gets down to two two seconds, the file last. So, I mean, there's something going wrong there, isn't there, I would say. Well, here's all the uh, three SanDisk cards that I got. Each one of them, I've, I've tested each one of them, uh, they're all 30 megabytes a second, and they all fail. Every single one of them fail. So uh, I shall have to put them in a cheap camera or send them back. Maybe just use them to uh, post to people. What a shame. That'll teach me to buy something cheap. Now I uh, have noticed something very interesting. I've got a good card in here. Uh, so we'll record this one. This is a, still a SanDisk one. And it's uh, 30 megabytes a second and it's 16 gig. And uh, there's nothing wrong with that. It works. It's, uh, we're recording all the time here, and we can zoom in and out, and we can uh, increase the uh, aperture or the uh, the noise level on on the uh, camera, and it'll keep recording and recording and recording until it fills up. And there's nothing wrong at all with this card. Now I have discovered something very interesting about the card that's in here. Uh, so what we'll do, we'll take it out and I'm, I'm going to show you what is a good card, or what makes a good card. So we'll stop that, because it's still going to keep going and going and going. So we'll turn it off, we'll take out the the, uh, the disc. Now here is the disc, it's a, it's a perfectly good one. So here we have four SanDisk cards, three don't work. But one does. Right, can you see if which one is uh, any difference? Uh, let's have a look at that one. That looks pretty good. That one looks pretty good. That one looks good. Well, they all look um, they all look the same. They all say the same thing. So what is the difference? Let's have a look. Turn them all over. And we'll see if we can spot a difference on the back here. Maybe that's where they've hidden some secret information. Let's have a look here. Yeah, that's one that doesn't work. Another one that doesn't work. The third one doesn't work. And here is the fourth one, the good one. This does work. Now, that says something, doesn't it? That says SanDisk on the back. So there you go. The moral of the story is buy some cards that says SanDisk on the back. But how do you know which is a SanDisk card on the back when it's inside one of these packets? Good question. Here's another interesting thing that I discovered is that if you look carefully at the uh, the gold contacts there's one which looks quite um, different from all the others and that's the one that's the good one. I don't know if you can quite see that but it's the uh, it's the second one in here. That's um, that's a different texture to the other three. So I think they must use some different kind of metal there. So that's a that's a definite. I'll just show you that that is the one. That's the one. That's the proper one. So there's definitely something going on there in the manufacturing department that makes them um, different. Another thing I also discovered 
was if you look at the ends um, you can see um, a different knockout I don't know if you can see that there but uh, there's a different there's a different manufacturing thing going on here it's got a wider break off bit in the middle and again it's that second one there that's the uh, that's the one so that's how to tell your cards apart from each other interesting so here we are on eBay let's have a look at what we bought and uh, there it is that's um, the SD card or or one of the three and this is how much it cost there was 27 pounds 87 pence for three cards so if you're going to buy some cheap cards um, expect the worst and uh, I suggest that you um, save up some money and um, buy a decent card uh, for use in a decent camera and then you'll not be disappointed it's an investment so um, sorry about that and um, Thanks for watching.